Hello YouTube. In this video, I'll be going through my workflow of making coffee with my Gajia Classic Pro. You can see my other videos related to the mods I've done to my machine. And I must say, it is one of the best home machine and budget friendly for any of you starting on your coffee journey out there. On a side note, I've been getting some weighing issues with my Time More Classic Scale. It had served me well since the first purchase in 2019. I think it is time to move on. After I did a reset on the scale, it still doesn't seem to work. I will have another video on that soon because I did a teardown of the scale and found out why, so stay tuned. So I bought another newer version and it arrived in the mail and immediately you can see how much it has improved. The load up time and how quick it is to weigh an item. So while the machine is heating up, I prepare my coffee ground. I'm using a local roaster's coffee blend and weigh about 16 grams of coffee. This grinder has a little bit of retention, about 1 gram, but I'm not too worried since I use the grinder almost every day. So now we have almost 17 grams of coffee ground. To prevent myself from making a mess everywhere, I put on a dosing ring so I can pour the ground into the portal filter basket. I then use a WDT tool from Barista Hustle just to free up some of the clumps. Then I distribute the ground and then temp it. I then purge the excess water off from the machine for a while and lock the portal filter basket onto the group head. The espresso shot took about 28 seconds and I extracted about 30 milliliters of liquid espresso. It looks quite delicious already. Next, I turn on the steam switch to prepare for milk frothing. I pour the fresh milk into the milk pitcher and fill it up to about one third of the pitcher's size. You can see that the temperature on the PID is hovering around 130 to 150 degrees Celsius, which is a perfect time for us to froth the milk now. I purge the steam a little bit and begin to steam the milk. The key here is not to dip the steam one into the milk, but just so that it is hovering on the milk surface. You'll want to angle it in a way where it creates a whirlpool with the milk. Some quick tips to milk frothing is to turn on fully of the knob when beginning to froth. Fill the pitcher with your hands during frothing if it's too hot to touch, then you'll have to turn off the steam knob immediately 
to prevent the milk from burning further. You should see the silky texture of the milk after frothing. You've probably heard of the term wet paint and it's the reason why everyone is using this term. I then make a simple latte art and that concludes the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Please comment, like and subscribe if you like my content. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.